This has never happened in the history of Big Brother Niger before. Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Dangola and this is just the right channel for you. If you're joining me for the first time, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel, like this video, turn on post notification, and tell me something great at the comment section. If you're returning subscribers, thank you so much for joining me here again. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you again and again. Without further ado, let's get right into it. On Twitter today, Buka announced that he will be going into the house by 8 p.m. And he was telling people that message you guys have for me to you know, share with the housemate. And I was in my house looking forward to see Ebuka because Ebuka said he's going to be in the house by 8 p.m. They were having the pocket task and um, it was actually fun to watch but i really wanted to see ebuka you know go into the house because it has never happened in the history of the brother niger before i don't think i've seen a part whereby ebuka enters into the house where the housemates are inside the house like it's really shocking like it's so shocking and guess what happened big brother told the housemates to go prepare for a dinner after the task they had and they were looking all stunning in black dresses blue dresses but like the was looking really good everybody was looking really fine and they all got dressed went to the lounge to sit down well dressed ready for the dinner that big brother promised them but only for them to hear a ring of a bell do do they were like ah, hey and before you know it people that said housemate freeze and all the housemates had to freeze and guess what happened guys Guess what happened? Ebuka walked in majestically, looking so elegant with his shades and his earrings. That guy, that guy, hey, that guy is fine. Wake <laughs> me up, guys. Wake me up. Ebuka is fine. Ebuka is fine. Thank God Ebuka is married. Ebuka is fine. If not, girls will all die on top of the guy in my tab because the guy is fine. He fine actually Ebuka is fine and when he walked in he was just laughing at the housemate because the housemate had to freeze and so they are all frozen they are frozen even if some people were just shaking their legs they did not really freeze very well <laughs> but the housemates were all frozen and then Ebuka was not laughing at the fact that you know the house the house was so dirty they were literally issues today about who is supposed to wash plates who is not supposed to wash plates and i was asking myself did this boy just eat in the house eight house meat and they are fighting over plates being washed i don't understand like i don't get it is that they don't wash plates in their houses because i don't i don't get it they've been fighting over plates being washed since first week first week of the big brother that just season seven and they are still fighting over that matter today like i don't get i don't understand like it, it's really confusing eight house meat are those for that matter they cannot just useless and washed immediately like it's so annoying like it's really freaking and i'm like i don't get it it doesn't it doesn't make any sense like it doesn't make any sense at all so because i was just talking about the fact that the house is dirty and then big brother told them to unfreeze and they were all happy to see ebuka they jumped up hugging ebuka everybody was just really happy and then cheesy has asked ebuka that ebuka hope you're not here for your business hope you're not here for your normal business hope you're not here to evict somebody somebody well we get to see if ebuka will eventually evict somebody or not and ebuka now asks the housemate why is it that your house is so dirty why why and they start calling names like is this person is that person is richer is fina is this this this, this? the house is actually really dirty really really dirty they they boiled chicken the stocked chicken is there like nobody washed it plate everywhere it's just unkept ebuka told them to you know take him around the house he wants to see their rooms to see if he's well kept and if it's neat and ebuka walked through the house everywhere was just dirty especially the orange room the red room was still you know a bit cool you know ebuka went into the garden everywhere was just unkept he was just talking about the fact that the housemates could not keep the house clean. I don't understand this housemate. I don't I don't just I don't get it. I don't understand. Anyway, Kai eventually told the housemates that they should all go upstairs for their dinner that Biggie promised them and the dinner is actually really beautiful. It's I think I understand 
why they are called finalists. They've been enjoying back to back, dinner back to back, and tomorrow, tomorrow, which is Independence Day, guys, they're gonna be having guests in the house. So you want to stay tuned to my channel because I'm going to come here and give you guys just about how that session went. I'm gonna be here. You wanna stay tuned to my channel? You wanna subscribe to my channel? You wanna turn on post notifications so you can get to see my video first, okay? And most importantly, like this video. It's very, very important. That's all I have for you guys today. It's like coming away again. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Like this video to number notification and tell me something great at the comment section. So we'll see you again. I love you guys. See ya. Bye.